हेलो स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टूडे सेशन आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर वन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट डोंट कम्प्लीटली डिपेंड ऑन मी आई ट्राई टू आई ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू कम्प्लीट हाउ मच आई कैन बिफोर यूर नीट एग्जामिनेशन थैंक्स फॉर यूर रेस्पॉन्स टू इस्टरडे क्लास दैट इज द नीट प्रिपरेशन सीरीज डे वन आफ्टर सींग यूर कॉमेंट्स एंड लाइक्स ऑल माई टाइडनेस गॉन इन वे लेट एस स्टार्ट टूडे सेशन दैट इज नीट प्रिपरेशन सीरीज डे टू इन दिस सेशन एज यूजल आई एम गोइंग टू कवर प्रीवियस इयर नीट एंड ए पी एम टी क्वेश्चन दिस इज टूडे वीडियो इज फ्रॉम एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर चैप्टर सी द क्वेश्चन आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम थर्ड क्वेश्चन आई विल टेल यू हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैन फिट इन द ऑर्बिटॉल फॉर विच एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड एल इज इक्वल टू वन सी हियर दे आर आस्किंग ऑर्बिटॉल वट इज एन ऑर्बिट स्टूडेंट ऑर्बिट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द न्यूक्लियस एरोन न्यूक्लियस दिस इज अ प्लेस पाथ और प्लेस वेर द इलेक्ट्रॉन इज रिवॉल्विंग दिस पाथ वी कॉल इट एज ऑर्बिट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस पाथ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज रिवॉल्विंग मैक्सिमम टाइम हियर इट सेल्फ देन दिस वन वी कॉल इट एज द प्लेस वेर देर इज अ मैक्सिमम प्रॉबिलिटी और इट इज द रीजियन वेर मैक्सिमम इलेक्ट्रॉन स्पेंडिंग इट्स टाइम हियर देन वी कॉल दिस एज ऑर्बिटॉल क्लियर so in orbital a maximum how many electrons can accommodate two electrons can accommodate according to which rule half boss principle half boss principle maximum two electrons can accommodate in an orbital with two opposite spins one is in clockwise another one is in anti clockwise direction is a clear and here they given that n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 1 so n is equal to 3 means principal quantum number is 3 l is equal to 1 means it is p 3p so in 3p in an orbital how many electrons can accommodate maximum two electrons clear the trick is when they are asking you Uh, in orbital, how many electrons can or can accommodate in that particular orbital? They are asking. Then your answer will be two only. Clear. So your answer is two. Now let us see 2016. One more question. Which of the following pairs of d orbitals will have the electron density along the axis? First, you should to answer this question. You should have an idea of d orbital shape. What is the shape of d orbital? Double dumbbell shape. So, how many d orbitals are there, students? Five. What are those? Tell me. D x y, d y z, d z x, and d. X square minus y square and d z square. In out of these five, in this case, what orbitals lobes are present in between the axes? If it is x y axis, if you assume as x y, then it will be d x y. If it is y z d y z. If it is z and x, it will be d z x. In this case, lobe is present between what? Between the axis. And coming to this, d x square and d y square. Lobes are present where exactly along the axis. This is d x square minus y square, and this is around what z square d. This is z or d z square. Clear. So what is the answer? Which of the following pairs of d orbitals electron density is present along the axis d z square and d x square minus y square? Is your answer? Let us see one more question from 2016. Two electrons occupying the same orbital are distinguished by. I'll tell you a small trick to solve this question. For example, take s orbital, which can accommodate it can accommodate maximum of two electrons. Suppose, for example, it is two s. Now write the n value for this. as me uh, which quantum number principal quantum number l n value for this electron n value is 2 for this electron n value is same clear and write the l value see here s yes, p d f what is the l value for s orbital 0 for p 1 l values for d 2 and for f 3 so s for s orbital what is the l value students 0 for this electron also 0 now write the next quantum number m values 
m value what is the m value m completely depends upon l m value should be minus l to plus l if l value is zero m value also zero clear and what is the spin quantum number for one electron it will be plus half and another electron it will be minus half don't see that one is clockwise and anti clockwise we cannot say that electron this is clockwise so it is plus half and this and no it may be minus half it may be plus half so both should be both are in opposite directions clear means both are in, with opposite spins are there then these two electrons are having same three quantum numbers and one is different in which way we can find by by using spin quantum number so what is your answer spin quantum number always solve by using uh, this trick it will be very easy let us see 2015 question which is the correct order of increasing energy of the listed orbitals in the atom of titanium you have to uh, find the correct increasing order energy order for titanium with atomic number which whose atomic number is 22 clear so see students always electron is first filled into the orbital having lowest n plus l value this you keep it in mind i'll give you a small trick you can use this trick to keep this concept long time in your mind for example i'm writing 1s 2s 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p. Clear? Now write the n values for this. What is the n value for this? Is the principal quantum number n. Write this one for this two, two, three, three, four, three, four. Clear? And now write azimuthal quantum number l value for this. What I told you is P D F. What are the L values? Zero, one, two, three. Now for S, L value zero. For this zero, P one, S zero, P one, S zero, D two, P one. Now add n plus L values. N plus L value. Add n plus L value. One, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. What what is the rule? N plus L value, which is having a lowest electron first enter into that. So based on this, first electron enters into one s, fine. Next to two s, fine. Next to two p three s, both are having same. When both are having same, then what you should do is you have to take the n value which is having lowest out of 2s 3 2p 3s which is having lowest n value students 2 2p so next is 2p next is 3s after that n plus l value which is having less 4, 3p and 4s again both are having same then what you should see which is having lowest n value that is 3p 3p next which is Which one? Four s. Next, in this two, three d and four p, which is having lowest n value. Three d is having lowest n value. So three d. Next one is four p. So as per our question, what is the correct order? Uh, just from three s, they are asking no. Three s, three p, four four s, four d. So which option? This option. Three s, three p, four s, three d. This is the correct one. clear this is the energy order for example if they are asking you to remove an electron then from this is an order electrons are you are going to fill electrons in such a way if they are asking you to remove the electron then how you will remove that electron i'll tell you an uh, that trick by using another question this is the question c The number of d electrons in Fe two plus is not equal to the number of electrons in which of the following. What you have to do? First, calculate the number of d electrons in Fe plus two. Later, calculate the d electrons in Fe plus two, p electrons in neon, s electrons magnesium, p electrons in chlorine. Clear? I will do this. See this. I wrote for all the given options electronic configurations to save the time, and here number of d electrons in Fe. For example, how many d electrons students here? Six. So in this option, number of d electrons are six. And in neon, how many p electrons are there? Just count how many six electrons. 
and in magnesium how many s electrons are there 2 2 2 total how many 6 electrons clear in in chlorine how many p electrons how many p here 6 and here 5 total 6 plus 5 11 electrons 11 electrons now coming to the question the number of d electrons in fe plus 2 so how you will remove you will remove from outermost orbital uh, what students feel confused here is from where we have to remove the electrons either we have to remove the electrons from here or from here or from where i'll tell you the trick always you have to remove the electrons from outermost orbital how you will say which is the outermost orbital is the one which is having higher n value what is it students which is having higher n value if you feel confused out of 3d and 4s you should remove the electrons from 4s because this is the outermost but this is the order while you are filling the electrons you have to fill based upon the energy not based on the radius but when you are removing the electron you should remove the electron based on the radius because the one which is far from the nucleus which is having more radius from that you have from the orbital you have to remove the electron so remove from 4s two electrons then you will have how many electrons in d here six electrons so in all these options which is having six electrons only which is same as that of fe plus 2 and p electrons are having 11 electrons so this is the incorrect option clear see the next question from 2015 the angular momentum of <coughs> electron in d orbital is equal to see students the formula to calculate orbital angular momentum is square root of l into l plus 1 h by 2 pi or you can write it as square root of l into l plus 1 h cut or h bar you can say what is the value of uh, uh, l value for d orbital s p d f l value for the 0 1 2 3 for d it is 2 so substitute that square root of 2 into 2 plus 1 h cut or h bar then it will be 3 into 2 square root of 6 h bar is your answer so which option is the correct answer students tell me third option is correct next question from 2014 what is the maximum number of orbitals that can be identified with the following quantum numbers i already gave you the trick what is that whenever the specifically uh, are asking see 3 third quantum number principal quantum number l value azimuthal quantum number is l value 1 means p and 3p how many will be there px py pz or you can say minus 1 0 plus 1 are the m values so with m equal to 0 how many orbitals are possible one and how many if the electrons are possible maximum two electrons is a clear and one more question from 2014 calculate the energy in joule corresponding to light of wavelength is given and planck's constant value is given speed of light is given formula is e energy is equal to hc by lambda clear what is the h value given in the question 6.63 into 10 power of alumina hc by lambda clear what is the h value given students 6.63 into 10 power of minus 34 c value is how much 3 into 10 power of 8 and lambda is given in nanometers convert into meters 45 into 10 power of minus 9 because 1 nanometer 10 power of 9 minus 9 meters just to solve this um, 6.63 into 3 i am doing 3 3 is 9 6 3 is 18 One six three is eighteen one nineteen, and this one into right divided by forty five into ten power of minus thirty four. If it comes up ten power of nine plus eight, that is ten power of seventeen. Then from this, what will be left? Ten power of minus thirty four seventeen. Ten power of minus seventeen. Clear now. What you do is shortcut. I'll tell you. Just round it off. Take it as an around twenty. So you got twenty by forty-five. Then do this forty-five twenty. Put zero forty-five four sir twenty-two four four sixteen eighteen. So four sir one eighty twenty will be left again zero four sir 
how much 180 20 so what you are getting students you are getting 0.44 into 10 power of minus 17 just to move the decimal multiply with the 10 divide with the 10 you are taking you this 10 then you will get 4.4 into then this 10 is left now if it comes up then it will be 10 power of minus 18 this is your answer 4.4 into 10 power of minus 18 now i'll tell you one trick to solve this question whenever they if they give this lambda in angstrom or energy is asking in electron volt then no need to do all these things you can use one simple formula that is e is equal to 12400 by lambda in angstroms use this one and you can easily calculate energy when they are asking in electron volts I hope you like this video and one more thing 1 calorie equal to 4.18 joule if you want to convert uh, units in any case use this and one more thing is 1 electron volt equal to 1.602 into 10 power of minus 19 joule also this also you can use now I'll give you test yourself question just copy this question and copy this question these two questions I am giving as test yourself Try this too. The solutions I am going to give you in next video. I hope you like this uh, video. Thanks for watching.